let's take a look at integrating succession and career planning. In order to be competitive, all organizations must adapt their talent management program to the many forces that are consistently disrupting their business environment. Elements of these programs are called succession planning, leadership development, workforce planning, talent management, or career planning. It thus makes sense to begin this discussion with a few definitions to clarify terms. Replacement planning is the process of identifying emergency backups for key people or key positions. They are identified to serve in an acting capacity for long enough for an organization's leaders to conduct a proper search. Succession planning is the process of developing the talent already existing in the organization for future deployment. Succession management is the daily process of cultivating future talent through coaching, mentoring, feedback, counseling, and development. Career planning is the process individuals go through to clarify their future career goals and aspirations and establish strategies to achieve them. Career management is the process organizations go through to clarify the relationships of jobs to each other. Talent management is the process of attracting, developing, retaining, and deploying the best people. Human capital management involves managing the organization's people, but it also implies the growing financial importance of the creativity and innovation that humans bring to achieving competitive advantage. Workforce planning is the process of comparing the match between the collective talents available to an organization, supply, and the talent needed by an organization, demand, to achieve its strategic objectives. Disruptive, competitive environments give birth to disruptive talent management strategies. This means that a premium will be placed on individuals with skills and attributes that are entrepreneurial, adaptive, and risk-oriented. Succession planning helps to build the bench strength of an organization to meet future talent needs. Career planning gives individuals the ability to compare their current competencies to those needed for the future. Components of the exemplary succession planning and career planning program depend on which organizations are benchmarked, of course, and some variations do exist by industry as well as by organization size. Talent can be developed only when it's clear what work people are expected to do and what characteristics are apparent and desirable in the existing talent inventory of the organization. To clarify what work people do, the organization should have current job descriptions. To clarify what kind of people should do the work, the organization should clarify the competencies essential to successful job performance. An organization cannot always rely on internally developing talent as a sole mean by which to find the right people for the right work at the right time. So selecting talent from outside the organization will always be necessary. Effective programs address both the retention of talent and the transfer of knowledge. Talent retention is often the latest developed of succession or talent management strategy. While the reasons for this might be debated, the reality is that few organizations do as much as they could to retain talent. Knowledge transfer focuses on retaining institutional memory and proprietary knowledge that can be lost when experienced employees depart organizations. Over the past decade, many organizations have implemented talent review meetings and succession planning to discuss employee career paths and organizational talent needs. Some organizations have found these processes to be highly beneficial, but others have not seen the results they were hoping to achieve. So the question is, what are the keys to success and what are the pitfalls to avoid? If development actions for successor candidates are not taken seriously, they will not be ready when positions become vacant. The organization will likely hire an external candidate and complain that succession planning doesn't work. Business leaders don't always understand the business value of talent development and succession planning. So it's important as HR professionals to patiently provide training and talent toolkits for managers on these topics. Many organizations have more employees and contractors working to recruit external talent than they have working on internal talent development and succession strategy. Another common challenge is having enough qualified employees who are able to facilitate talent review succession meetings to meet the internal need to review hundreds or thousands of leaders and key experts across the organization. 
In smaller organizations and in organizations with low turnover, a common challenge is trying to retain people and keep them challenged while they're waiting for a vacancy. The key is to continue to review your progress, look for improvements, and enlist cooperation and assistance of others to create success in your talent and succession strategy. The CEO is the highest level role model in their organization. The behavior of CEOs during the life cycle of their careers is symbolic of the positive employer brand they help to create. It's critical that as they near the end of their careers, they navigate the succession process in a way that's beneficial for themselves, their successors, and their organization. It can be difficult to pass the baton of leadership, and not every CEO does it successfully. The transition should include preparation, choosing the successor, coaching that successor, and then passing the baton. Transition is challenging, and very few leaders realize how difficult it can be. The long-term success of the organization is highly dependent on the success of the leadership baton pass between the CEO and the successor. The development of a great successor starts with an important decision. Should the successor be chosen from in or outside of the organization? When the succession process requires an external coach, the CEO should be involved to make sure that the coaching process is successful. Before starting the coaching process, the CEO should ask himself three qualifying questions. When the successor is ready to move into the role of CEO, the CEO will finally have to go. The CEO may be tempted to stay on the board of directors or in some other capacity. It's best for the CEO just to go if the successor is going to be successful. The best thing the CEO can do is show integrity on the way out by doing everything possible to ensure the next CEO is successful. This means not talking with the press disparagingly about the successor, especially if he ultimately is not successful. It's best to exit gracefully, even if other people don't recognize it, the successor will. In turn, this fortunate person will have been taught how to pass the baton of leadership smoothly and successfully when the time comes. In an era of self-accountability, every organization must take a leadership role in developing individual resiliency by making career development a priority. For many years, employees settled into an organization that could use their talents, worked diligently to move up the corporate ladder, and collected a gold watch at the mandatory 65-year retirement age. However, the complex interplay of social, economic, technological, and legal developments that have appeared during the past few decades has radically disrupted this long-standing pattern. Human resource departments are charged with filling the talent pipeline with limited budgets, fewer resources, and less time to execute what they're charged with. When careers are aligned with core business principles, employees take on greater self-accountability for career progression and connections faster with strengths across the organization. While individuals' employees have the primary responsibility for their own career, the leader must be a supportive coach and the organization must provide the necessary resources, systems, and information. Career development and career growth plans are a business imperative that can directly impact the success of any organization. Employees want satisfying careers that meet their professional, personal, and emotional needs. To be effective, employees must begin to manage their careers by knowing themselves, knowing what's out there, knowing what others think of them, and knowing who to ask for help. While the company provides the systems and tools for career development, the development-minded manager provides the support and guidance, but performance management and career development are not the same. Opportunities for employees to learn, grow, and develop within any job is key to a successful working experience. Human resource professionals must readily understand and accept the importance of a development culture and drive talent to greater performance, higher levels of engagement, and job satisfaction. World-class businesses that embrace this attitude are building wider and deeper bench strength, engaging and retaining key talent, and increasing employee productivity. To understand the new reality of outplacement, you start by identifying and understanding the impact of workforce trends on your own organization. 
The workforce continues to change and evolve, which forces those charged with managing it to adapt and transform. This is often the road to evolutionary progress and improvement. Forces steering change bring upheaval to the workplace, in particular with employee expectations for flexibility, mobile access, and immediacy, which affect the manner in which HR leaders serve their internal constituents. According to a recent survey, a flexible schedule and telecommuting options ranked second to competitive pay in terms of what employees want in a job. Flexibility is an expectation directly impacting employee engagement. Therefore, individuals going through the process of outplacement desire flexibility and are not interested in reporting to an office each day to access career coaching and related career transition services. Rather, they're interested in maximum flexibility while blending their job search effort into their professional needs and daily lifestyle. Specifically, in conducting a job search, tablets and mobile phones are primary tools. Not only is accessibility key, but immediacy is also a critical driver. What this means is that whatever the outplace provider HR selects, it must have the ability to deliver via mobile devices. Expected response time has been reduced to just a few moments for all generations in the workplace. During the career transition process, participants rely on access to their coach and online resources to optimize their transition. The trends cited here will churn the workforce at an accelerating rate. Collectively, they'll cause the separation and displacement of large numbers of employees. It will ensure continued need for outplacement services. Outplacement will follow a variety of approaches to achieving workforce reductions. Outplacement remains the single most effective way to handle unpredictable and never-ending change that has resulted in downsizing. Some ways to look at how outplacement contributes to organization success follows. Managers can demonstrate to their staff that they are true leaders by helping former staff members find gainful employment. This instills important lessons in the office and will build loyalty both in and outside of the office. When employees perceive that their employer is taking care of them, their families, and their coworkers, they're less inclined to feel resentment or stress in their jobs during difficult times and often involve an increased workload. Typically, post layoff productivity and profitability are higher when compared to companies that don't use outplacement. Outplacement adds a low cost, high value service to the employee benefit offerings and minimizes turnover among retained employees. Overall, employees have gained a better understanding of self-directed career management and career transition tools, but HR professionals may know that employees will need more support than their own knowledge of the internet. The ultimate benefits of outplacement come less from technology-driven resources and more from individualized, tailored, one-on-one -on -one coaching.